Curitiba, Paraná, Brasil. Chavez Junior! You hear almost equal Jay, oh, no. and they're ready to oh, go no. and, and they both look intense here Whoa. as they touch gloves and they get it underway as the lights come up in the ring for our co-main event an eight rounder between Julio Cesar Chavez in the camo shorts Anderson the Spider Silva in the black Orthodox Spider. Keep them within your striking position. Hurt them with the bigger gloves. Nice two, three. Kind of, kind of feeling out with the punches. Big body shot, as you mentioned, needs to be done by Chavez. Anderson moving very well right now. I'm, I'm impressed with his junior. Um, you can see he's got very long arms, wide shoulders. Now you see the, you know, the body posture. You see Chavez. He wants it. Ooh, good oh, left hook for bouncing, dancing. Moving hands down. It's the experience, boxing skill. Sharp punches, one of the best in UFC history. Yeah, and he does, hurts his opponent, and then he swarms. Good opening round. You said, Brandon, like, he's one of those guys who blows you to sleep. You know, he does it with his with his posture, with his body, with his mind, with his face. You know, he's still had some of the best striking ever yes. in the UFC. So much different, much different. But does have a box. He has boxed before professionally. Yes. He also was a kickboxer. So um, that yeah. was a, a big question that I had coming into this fight is how he would take. Hold on, another story. Well, and you were talking about, you know, the transition from, from one sport to the other. Um, guy, which, which generally you don't see at the, at the high level in MMA. Oh, big shots oh, coming from Lord. Silva on yeah. Chavez. Yeah, Silva's in a rhythm right now. He, he was showing a few moments ago vintage Anderson Silva. He hit my instructions. Oh, Ooh, Silva blocks over. that nice. big overhand, man. This event is we going to the third round of a scheduled eight. This is a win MMA. I don't know if it's going to be a smart idea in boxing. everything right now. Yeah, Anderson just needs to be careful that he doesn't get too... It's going to be that guy, you know, the, the one, because he does have talent. Ooh, little toe touch oh there, God. bro. I, uh, he's really showing out. And he's having fun in there. And you gotta love that. And that's what he said to me. Feel like I still could do. And he still does. Oh, good body shot from Oh, John look at Chavez. Razor sharp. He's looking for that aggression and just going with those hooks. Mm. Oh, big right hand there. Chavez got Silva. Oh, John says Silva says, come on. Let's go. What do you got? Watching on Fight TV. Oh, good that's right. Right. Or whatever he's cable. Fighting. Very well blown. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. Two in a row. Tuning in on. Wow. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Julio Cesar Chavez needs to boost his pace and throw more combination, but you see... In my games, he's being a, he's being a, a, a bully, a tough guy. You know, oh, oh good up, 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 under the skin of Chavez. What is up with that stuff? That little foot lift? Yeah. He used to prepare that leg for a kick. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he wants no, to kick. No, no, no. That's a, he's, he's doing a, uh, it, it's a... It's a showman move. He's, okay. he's, he's, got, he's touching his ankle before he punches you, almost like, like Roy Jones. Yeah. You're, not, you're not wrong. I was just thinking that he's light on the front leg and just carrying the weight in the back leg. No, I think it's much more of a like a like a showman a showman type move. Oh, nice inside shots here. These guys are oh. toe to toe going in the ropes. But look Sweat. at this oh, nice jab from Anderson. There you go. Anderson oh, starting yes. to put some work Hot together pressure. here. Silva right in front of us. Starting and at it. Starting to put it on Chavez. Nice, <laughs> uh, Silva, not afraid to get hit either. He's taking the punches well. Very well. Even that hook to the linger, no problem. I mean, he's a bigger man, you know. Nash concerned about about the power. Nice jab by Silva. I am so impressed with Look, Samson that, Silva right now. That left hook to the liver is not even making no. Silva budge. No, Silva has very long arms. He's got that long elbow to block that shot. He's doing it very well. Oh, catch oh. the left. Coming in big time in this round, guys. Wow, wow. what a round for Silva. Trying to land all the rounds, but finally was able to in the last round. Going into the fifth round, we are past the half. Starting to feel himself in that last round. Yes. Continuing on with that pressure. Instead of Julio pressuring Silva, it's Silva pressuring Julio now, guys. And then he was more looking to uh, opportunities ref favoring Oh, you know, see, Yeah, you can't be thinking about out. And see how he changes directions? Very, very good footwork. Yeah, Silva is just really doing what he wants in there right now. Yes. 
Chavez looks tired. Talk about ring generalship. Chavez looks exhausted. Damn. I feel like it's not so much Martinez. No, not at all, but he's doing a very great oh, kind of good right hand from Jim Jr. Yeah, but that's one after every hundred that Silva throws. Oh, Silva gets under that hook. Silva doing a good job of me. Here we go, guys. Six rounds. Silva seeming like he's finding more and more comfort, more and more swagger as the fight. Chavez's shorts are raining right now. Oh, That's how much effort and sweat is dripping from these men. I mean, that jab is going in on cue. Mm. That straight is going in on cue. Oh, another that straight. That defense does not exist in Chavez. No, he's giving up on that head. thought we'd see Chavez Jr. pinned on the ropes with Anderson Silva letting his hands go. For the Switching last three sides. Rounds. Yeah, three rounds. The last three rounds he's been there. But he's smart. He's also using his size. Yes, exactly. And just weighing him down. Good body work on the inside there from Chavez. But look, Silva's staying there. Yeah. And yeah. the invite. He's, he's willing to take it. Yes. That's been the most surprising thing for me is the comfort level of Anderson Silva. Despite expectation, you, you fall to the level of your training here, and it seems like that's happening to Chavez Jr. right now, guys. Exactly. But that's nothing new. Jr. be with a much smaller man in front of him. Silva is not the smaller man today. No. Oop. And I did ask earlier today, you know, when you have two good fighters, mathematically he's going to take this all the way at distance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because, on no. sheer will. Chavez has always had a very good chin. Another good round. Bro. Oh. He looks complete. He looks clean. Oh, no, he's, he's, he looks phenomenal. He looks like a boxer. He's doing badass in the ring afterwards, guys. I, I mean, get, But you know what? I said it, and you guys said, no, no, no. A fighter is a fighter is a fighter. And when you're that level, stand corrected. A, 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 a phenom, a phenom, a legend. I agree. In one sport, coming and bringing his skill. I mean, look, we're in the seventh of an eighth rounder, and he's still bouncing. Yes. He's still moving. He's mm. not even breathing hard. And no. he's landing kicks. He's a fan of the sport, and you can tell that he's watched and studied a lot of boxing in these days. I, I want to bring attention to his body awareness. He closes the gap, he puts the shoulder in, and he uses that to leverage those uppercuts. And that's why he's deep. Oh, no, he's playing with his boot. I'm going to say it right now. He's playing with his boot. Oh, my God. It feels like even when Anderson is backed up into a bad spot, it's like that's where he wants to be, you know? He chooses to be there. Chris, I think the party is getting worse. Oh, yeah, no, he's been, he's been bleeding all around. Oh, hands down. Gives him that look like, what you're going to do about it? You know, the, the spider has been busting. Chavez the spider has been busting. Do it, Chavez. Do it. That's what they're asking him to do, but what is he supposed to do? Uh, he's got no answer. He's got no answer for, for the spider. The shot's really well, too. I don't I haven't really seen anything showing us that, that Chavez could do that, you know, that much damage with a single shot. Another quick... What's impressive about the feet, uh, with Travis backed on the ropes, he'll fight with him backed on the ropes. He's, he's been willing to fight every every single time. Oh my. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My fault. But it was a little further outside the eye. This one's just a bug. Is it that sweet spot? Mm -hmm. That's potentially dangerous. There you go. That's the, that's the Travis you really need to see. But and it's a buck late. short and a day late. Yep. He's got one minute left to go. And he is behind in this fight. By far. And yet, you know, Marcos has been a lot kinder than I am. Yeah, I, I think I should agree with Marcos. I, I think I have two rounds for Chavez. But did he hit too much? He's playing range well. See, I wish we could see this throughout the whole fight. Yeah, but he's not in good shape. Can he do this for a whole fight? Maybe he doesn't feel confident. To fight like this and make it because he doesn't feel like he's in shape. So I think Chavez is brilliant in spots, but it's very few and far between. And that is it, guys. We go to the scorecards for this eight round matchup between UFC legend Anderson the Spider Silva and former world champion.